<laughs> Either way, someone's getting stinky fingers. <laughs> Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another The Venture Bros reaction. I'm excited to see what this episode holds. Uh, so let's just get straight into it and see what happens. Somewhere over the Bermuda Triangle. What? So what the hell's going on? Got a message for the action man. It sounds like, um... I've loved all I need to love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I don't do. <laughs> Who's the one who does the um, Sir Thomas the Tank Engine voice? It sounds a bit like him. She knows. I mean, that's pro probably purposeful, right? Your circuit's dead. Ashes. Two ashes. <laughs> What's going on? Need one with me next to the Metasonic locator? No, I need one where your suit isn't writing up. One flyboy goes boom and he scrapped the whole project out of respect for the dead. It's just sitting down there <laughs> under eight What a monster! Of pitch black liquid funeral. Wait, I need this. Um, Is that boobs on a black liquid Iron Man suit. suit. <laughs> They're boobs, right? <laughs> They're definitely boobs. <laughs> oh, ow! Getting my descent into. Oh, I should record this. Oh God, I am genuinely scared of underwater animals. Like I've got this, this because of Pinocchio, this massive fear of whales. So this could end up being the scariest episode of any TV show I watch. <laughs> I'm scared. A Bermuda Triangle, ocean of mystery. Many have come to her before me, seeking stuff. <laughs> Seeking Dad is super Stop. serious all of a sudden. Do you think he's really in as much danger as he says? Oh yeah, he's screwed. He's screwed. Give him about an hour before he panics and begs us to haul him up. Okay, guys, I can hear all of this. Journal entry twenty nine. I am about to switch on the metasonic locator. Come in, Brock. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I love Brock. He's so good. What is your status, topside? Yeah, it's fine. Boys are finally asleep. Think Dean might have a bladder infection. Or oh, something. poor Dave. Get up and pee like five times. <laughs> no way, no pirates! Way. Now, hold on, Doc. I think I see something that makes no sense. I love pirates. Dean, wake up, Dave. Wake up. Wake up. I think something's going on. Brock's gone, and I just heard Dad say something about. Danger stuff. Uh oh. So what? So buttons. I'm gonna check it out. Plus, no, don't do it. Put out the heliport. It makes this awesome arc. Cool. Be right back. Oh no. Who are these? That was brilliant. Oh no! Scooby Doo! Oh, it's not. He's wearing a mask. Let's go save him. Crazy. My sword's made of cardboard. Cardboard. <laughs> Is that pirate from Jersey? <laughs> my <laughs> my sword's made of cardboard. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't want to see what his child. Oh no, made not Dave! I mean, uh, really, what he's made of—not like a test of his metal. I mean, I'm gonna spill. Yeah, his... Got it the first time. <laughs> Silence! Your insolence will not be tolerated. Uh, again. <laughs> hey, is okay, did? Yeah, probably. Come on, <laughs> necessary. Really? Your scheme was very clever. Very clever indeed. But he's no ghost. Oh, you think, genius? <laughs> was it a huge zipper? Maybe the rubber mask? But you had to kill him anyway. If you played by. I love that Brox just murdered the guy's like, yeah, deal with it. It's kind of what I do. <laughs> hey, the rules. The ghost pirate rules. And just ran away. None of this would be happening. But no, you had to go nuts and kill a guy. Take him to the brig. Uh, uh. Captain, do we not need this now? But without the fog, what am I going to project the sea monster on? <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> without the fog, what am I going to project the sea monster on? <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love this show so much, man. Honestly, I'm super excited to just... 
if I could do a video every single day, get a, every day a new video, I would do it. Obviously, I've got, you know, sadly, a working life. Um, but if you wanted to help with that, Patreon link is down below. You know, if I made enough money, I could quit my shitty job and do this every day. <laughs> no pressure. It's like trying to walk around inside a giant fat kid. Journal entry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. It's like trying to walk around a giant fat kid. Revealed my dad's flying metal failure by now. No, wait, that's crap. <clears throat> Journal entry. I love you doing a second take. So, obviously that... It, <sighs> Whatever was going on um, was his dad, and that it looked like it looked like a UFO. Obviously, it wasn't though. Um, has crashed, and then they just abandoned it. So now, Doctor Venture is searching for something. Yeah, I'm I'm really good at knowing what's going on, aren't I? Oh, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a clamshell. Please, I need your help. Really? Yes, really. Where are you? Of you course, there's pirates in this episode. The That's the thing I love about this show. Like, with the shows I normally watch, it's like supernatural. You know, it's going to be like saving people, hunting things, the family business, the hunt, the kill, and the next episode. In this show, it's just. I, I, to me, it's like they've put stuff in a hat for an episode and the things they've picked out, they've just wrote about. So it's like, oh, well, we should do an Undersea Adventure. And then they pull out pirates that pretend to be ghosts with New Jersey accents. Like, that's, it's insane. But that's what I love. Like, I don't know what I'm going to get next. So I can't ever see this show becoming stale or boring or repetitive because the basis is the same. They go on an adventure. But... The in between, what everything that happens is just all nonsense, but in the best way. <laughs> Hank, if there was ever a time in your life I needed you not to be Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brock, forget about it. All right. If you could just be twenty-five percent less, in Hank. My hands. I'll talk you through it. I don't want your treasure, kid. I don't even want your wallet. I just want your boat. Now, just tell me where the keys are. You have a Where's parachute? the keys to the boat, boy? Sit on my lap, son. It's story don't, time. Don't, don't, don't do lap. it. Fine, don't. don't do it, Dave. I'll tell you anyway. That pirate ship out there hasn't moved an inch in, like, forever. They've been stuck on that ship. Why Why didn't they just... Well, I suppose that's what they're doing, isn't it? They're going to take this boat so they can get ashore, maybe? And then you'd abandon ship, like you were supposed to. And then we'd help ourselves to the booty. Did that hurt? Not really. Here, lick your arm. <sighs> I've got more. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, like, tattoos on your hand apparently really, really hurt. Uh, every person who's got a tattoo on the hand, I've, I've asked, is like, yeah, it kills. So when he said not really, I was like, well, that's insane. But then obviously it's because it's a sticker. Oh, that is fantastic, man. Remember to subscribe. What the hell was that? Oh, come Indeed. On now. I can't believe you think that old joke would work on me twice. I'm totally serious. I don't know what that was. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't hear anything. But you did, right? What the hell has Dr. Venture unearthed? Oh my god. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the, that's the pilot from that ship, isn't it? This is definitely a Scooby-Doo episode. There it is again. I didn't... I can't hear it. Hold on a second. You ruin everything, everything, Dave. <laughs> you heard that, right? What am I listening for? If you would just shut up for a minute. I think they're drunk on rum. Okay. <laughs> so is Hank gonna murder them all? A blanket of warm vomit that previously kept the icy chill at bay has hardened to a sticky shell. Thankfully, the stench has faded. All right, this is just getting downright spooky. Come on, just give me the key, Dean. I really don't have the key. Just give I him the key, I, Dave. I guess Brock might. Who's Brock? My dad's bodyguard. Your dad has a bodyguard. Why would he need a bodyguard? The guy's a tank. <laughs> so where is this Brock guy? He's hiding and waiting to save me with guys. 
You're not a very good liar. <laughs> Maybe. Yo ho, Mike. <laughs> it's a child's walkie talkie. Oh my god. That was very squeaky of me, wasn't it? It's a child's walkie talkie. <clears throat> it was a child's walkie talkie. Um, <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> These are the worst pirates I've ever heard of, but I have heard of them. We hit a Toys R Us ship a couple of years ago. Oh, Captain. Yeah, Mike, the guy in the brig might have the key. Or there might be someone named Brock loose on the ship with... Guys. guys. With guys, Mike. After the twist, you'll feel a snap and the body goes ragdoll on you. And that will knock him out? Even <laughs> more? That will kill him. Do I have to? <laughs> All right, fine, Crybaby. We need that key that stats your boat, Mr. Big Stuff. Let's have it. It's up my ass. Are you serious? <laughs> Why don't you check? Well? <laughs> okay. He if he were telling the truth, that would be better? <laughs> Either way, someone's getting stinky fingers. <laughs> Just learned that giant clams don't like the taste of exploding robot legs. <laughs> oh, he's found the ship. Oh, so it is. It's a flying. So I take it they were testing a flying saucer then. Maybe it's the one from the Roswell crash or something. I, I don't know. Maybe it said that and I just didn't see because I'm an idiot. Who knows? Oh. I can't believe I Oh god. Him. He's actually doing it. And remember how you complained? Oh god, warm him up at least buy him dinner first. Christ, you just boosh straight in. Gro oh gross. <laughs> Brock's just like He's fine with it. That red cross ship. Oh. What, what are we gonna do with 20 crates of rubber gloves? Totally take a bit. Go. Oh, oh. Hey, I'd kill for one of those right about now. My last pack. It'll help me relax. Dude, give him one. Oh, you aren't you already Please. giving him one? Oh, screw him. Pirates don't give people cigarettes. They take them. <sighs> oh, <laughs> he's just tensed his butt cheeks. Oh, this show is so good, but that is literally disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh god he's just swung the guy around with his butt oh my god how have i never seen this show before <laughs> yo ho Going on with that key already. Hey, Captain, I got your key. Hope you're hungry. Because I'm going to feed it to you. He's got a Batman one. <laughs> Wait, what about my dad? Kid, who do you think's the reason I'm hauling ass out of here? Did you hear him? He sounded scarier than... than whatever the hell that is. I thought you would have seen more of the Perhaps. ghost by now. Like, I thought... The ghost would have been like killing people, but all you've heard is it just screech. Is is this going to be like two episode arc or something, or is it just nonsense, nonsensical, and it's just going to disappear? <laughs> I guess we'll find out if I unpaused it. What's going on here? Ah, oh, come on, who did this? Like these guys. Have it was Dave, yes, big bad Dave. <laughs> Oh, no way! Pink! Don't! Oh, I can't! Shoot it! I think this thing came from the same ship we got the walkie talkies! Plastic! <laughs> that's, that's a ghost! Why is he just standing there screaming? Alright. I'll save your dad's bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, it didn't seem to want to kill us. It doesn't seem to want to do anything. Except that. Oh! He's back! <laughs> Dr. Orpheus, Master of Mysticism. Oh, hello. He's definitely, he's definitely Nicolas Cage, this guy, right? It's just like, right, the camera's on, Nicky, you do you. And he's just like, I will do what I want! Magic! <laughs> 
Who's Eddie talking to? Well, he's a necromancer. He lives in my backyard. Hank, are you certain it isn't just a guy in a rubber mask messing with you? I see. You've already had one of them this no, episode. Listen, Hank. Can you hang on a sec? I love that the ghost doesn't want to do anything to anyone. It just wants to scream. <laughs> Maybe it's like stuck in a loop of when it died. Uh, when the person died. And that was like the last thing they did was obviously scream. And now it's just forever stuck in that loop of just wailing into the abyss. <laughs> Oh, I love that he's destroyed that ship. Yeah. It's your wife, sweetie. You're dead now. <laughs> Tom, it's Rodney. You know, the action man. Diddy's remarried. To me, actually. You've got to get over it. <laughs> oh, he's made him worse. He's made him worse. Oh, God. Dear God. Oh, well, there you go. Problem solved. When in doubt, just get Brock to break the face off them. Who are you? I'm really, really sorry about this whole mess, and you know the whole pirate thing is behind me now. And Plus, you kind of killed Steve and burnt my ship, so if you could give us a lift out of here, I figured we'd just call it Squaresies. Go, Team Venture! <laughs> I don't know, they just do that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the thing. That's good soup! That's good soup! Um, yeah, this was another another great episode. I really enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> again, like every episode, I've, I've said it before, I go in and I do not know what the hell is going on. But that is part of this show's charm. Um, I want to see more Doctor Girlfriend and uh, the Monarch, though. I thought that it would be that they would be in each episode, and obviously that's not the case. Um, but I do, I do actually really enjoy this show, and I'm kind of glad in a way that I hadn't seen it before because now I get to go on this journey with everybody who uh, watches the videos and. I watch them from the start, whereas you all know what's happening, but you get to see me react to it with fresh eyes. Um, but at the same time, I wish I had this show in my life um, a lot earlier. It's hilarious. It's really funny. The, the best bit is the screaming ghost this episode. Um, like I thought it was going to be like he's killing everyone on the ship or something like that. But he's just literally wailing into the abyss. <laughs> he's just screaming. And then it looked like his wife was going to sort it out. And then that action man was like, yeah, she's remarried now. It's, you, you're dead. Get on with it. And then he just starts screaming again. And then trust Brock to come in and beat the crap out of him. <laughs> um, I like that the pirates were well, very theatrical um, in, in the pirate adventuring um, and, and stealing stuff. They'd pretend to be a ghost ship and have a ghost to, to rob other ships and they've got like plastic guns and and so their swords made of cardboard and stuff like that it was just it's super super fun um again we'll get more of um dr venture trying to it seems like one up his dad and i'm i'm aware his dad's dead so there's obviously some sort of issue between him and his dad and um, we've seen we've seen it a little bit um, like with the Bris Brisby land, um, where he's testing the the, the teacup right thing, and he, he's using his son as a, as like a guinea pig, and in that episode where he was uh, hallucinating him, and like his dad's this big giant adventure type guy, and he's like this scrawny, weedy doctor, and I think that's, I mean, I might be totally wrong, but I think you know that's part of the reason why Doctor Venture is doing this to try and make a breakthrough or something so he can step out of his father's shadow um which i, I think is quite deep I, I love um hank and dave and i know i keep calling him dave and i know his name's dean but it's just the running joke of what the dad said so i'm just keeping it going because i'm an idiot um they just seem clueless to everything in in this show <laughs> and i liked i like that hank was paying off the side of the boat it was hilarious um but yeah, the brothers, it's called the Venture Bros, so I'm assuming they're, they're the Venture Bros. Um, well, I mean, they definitely are. But, like, 
I'm excited to see them develop a bit more because right now they're quite at the back of like the show, if that makes sense. I'm, I can't find the words. Like they don't have really an integral part right now. Um, it's more Doctor Venture and, and Brock, and they're just along for the ride. Um, but overall, I did I did enjoy the episode. I don't think there's been a bad episode this season. Uh, the previous episode I didn't enjoy as much, but I'm still. Yeah, I've watched it again because I do the reaction videos, obviously, uh, but then I go back and I, and I re-watch them, and I've watched every episode so far twice, and I don't think it's a bad episode, I just don't think it's as funny as the rest, but still, it brought into, an, into it a new character that I really do enjoy. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I've really enjoyed it, a good episode, again, like I said, all the episodes so far have been really good, I'm excited for what's what's next, but um, I've been the Geordie Nerd, link is in the description for the Patreon and my Teespring store, if you would like to check that out, also, the patrons, um, they, their names are down below as well, uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who is a patron on my Patreon, I really do appreciate it, and if you want to throw in a pound, uh, a book, a month that, that that would be great um so yeah i will see you again very soon for more the venture bros reaction videos